Here at 5 New, gun violence top of mind for leaders and law enforcement across the country. The spotlight right now on the Queen City today as the director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives was in town listening to those on the front line of gun violence. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal show, uh, joining us after hearing from the mothers of murdered offspring today who made their voices heard with the new director of the agency. This group was founded in 1993 and unfortunately is getting bigger. While they are meeting with ATF, an invitation extended to them because as the executive director of the group told me, this group has seen firsthand the devastation gun violence is causing their communities and families. Mothers bringing in pictures of their children that are no longer here. Don Quavius was so loyal, he was so unselfish. Hoping the legacy of their kids is cause for change. And her son had already been murdered. Mothers of murdered offspring gathered this afternoon with the director of alcohol, tobacco, firearms and explosives at its Charlotte regional office. What is it like for families? And that's what this meeting is about, to make sure that our victims aren't forgotten and that they are not just a number. Claudia Hemingway's son was killed in May of 2019, one day after the deadly mass shooting at UNC Charlotte. And he said, Charlotte, we got to make a change. 7, 840, he was dead, innocently. The stories, tough to tell and listen to, but at the same time, serving as an important opportunity. That they're listening, that they're interested, and um, that everybody's ready to make a change. As far as finding a solution. I wish I knew. I mean, I think we start with the guns. We start with the parents. We start with teaching our kids how to deal with their emotions. Coming up at 6, I talk to the ATF's new director and we talk about why he's visiting Charlotte and what law enforcement's doing to deal with the increase in gun violence. In Charlotte, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.